This guy had no teeth and ate 301 sheik kebabs. I love sheik kebabs too, but even with teeth, I can't eat more than 10 at once. It's insane how this man with no teeth broke the record for sheik kebab eating. The one and only Osman Aksol, a retired wrestler from Antalya, Turkey, defied all odds when without any teeth, he gobbled down 301 sheik kebabs in a jaw-dropping 44 minutes. How in the kebabs name did he pull this off? We'll break down exactly how Aksol did it. We'll check out the donor kebab as heavy as five shots. And we'll also figure out why Germany is obsessed with this dish. Buckle up, because you're not going to believe the insanity coming up. Let's go back to a bustling meat restaurant in Antalya in 2018. As the crowd gathered, eyes fixated on the stage and our fearless, toothless hero stepped into the spotlight. The countdown began and Axel had no clue that he'd go down in kebab eating history. With each bite, Axel showcased uncontrollable hunger that didn't seem to care that he had no teeth. The speed at which he ate up the juicy sheik kebabs left everyone's jaw dropping, unlike Aksol's. As the clock ticked away, Aksol's appetite only grew. Does being toothless increase your appetite? Because how on earth was he doing this? Was there a black hole in his stomach? This accomplishment not only earned him a shiny new smartphone, but also the envy of all kebab enthusiasts. And let's not forget the best part. Four glorious months of free kebab feasting. Oh, it's a dream come true for any kebab lover. Speaking of kebab lovers' dreams, have you heard of the kebab that was as heavy as five sharks? As we travel to the vibrant city of Berlin, another crazy kebab record was being made. In 2017, a colossal donor kebab weighing an astonishing 934 pounds was titled the world's largest donor kebab. Just imagine a donor kebab weighing as much as five full-size nurse sharks. It's insane. Served on fluffy pita bread, and with an array of the classic crisp salad and vibrant and red white cabbage, this epic kebab masterpiece would have satisfied my appetite for kebabs for life. I know what you're thinking. Germany and kebabs? Isn't kebab a Middle Eastern thing? Hold your horses. Kadir Nurman, the OG donor kebab creator and Turkish immigrant, would have never imagined that Donor Kebab would have become a global crowd favorite like it is today. Legend has it that Kadir Nurman came up with the Donor Kebab first in 1972 in Berlin. And since then, Berlin reigned supreme, boasting a jaw-dropping 4,000 kebab shops. You heard it right. Berlin has even outshined Istanbul, the kebab capital in the number of kebab heavens per square mile. Even Germany as a whole has embraced this delicious treat with open arms, making it the country's ultimate fast food phenomenon. I mean, the donor kebab industry in Germany has a market value of $4.7 billion with a mind-boggling 400 tons of kebab devoured every day. Popular fast food chains like McDonald's and KFC don't even come close to beating this donor kebab mania in Germany. So much so that they've basically adopted kebab and now have German-style kebab restaurants opening up in New York, London and Dubai. It sounds insane, but let me tell you, good kebabs are really better than anything else. Ah, all this kebab talk. I'm definitely going to need a big hearty kebab dinner tonight. And what's better than soft juicy kebabs 
than crunchy fried chicken. Oh my god, why have I not paired these two together before? If you're more of a fried chicken person, then you're going to love the story about the 3,675 pound big fried chicken. Yeah, I said 3,000. Subscribe now to Behind the Date because trust me, you want the juicy details of this one. I'll see you on September 15th, 2019.